Okay guys, um, today I have an interesting video here, uh, something I don't actually normally do, but this is going to be on the uh, new Nexus 7. So let me just go into settings here so you guys can see what I'm running. Uh, right here, Nexus 7 is the model number, 4.3 on Android, and your build number is the JSS15R. This is the 2013 edition of this Nexus 7 with the back camera. Just so you guys know what I'm running, which is codename Flow F L O, is its code name. So what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch, and I don't do that very often. Um, I normally use Torp Recovery, but I figured I'd show you it on this device right here. So first, I'm just going to show you the recovery system, and just reboot into recovery. I've already got it installed, and then we'll go through the install. So right here, you can see I have an unlocked bootloader with that padlock. If you want to install Clockwork Mod Recovery on this device and you do not have an unlocked bootloader, you can't. So watch my video on unlocking the bootloader on this device to learn how to do this process. Okay, so what you got here, guys, is your settings for this system. So the top one is Reboot System Now. The next one would be um, Install Zip, which is if you want to install a ROM or a mod. You'd come in here, you'd check your you know, load from... SD card or side load, different things you can do right there. And you can install your zips and your ROMs and all that kind of good stuff right there. Um, this does is touch edition. Normally, if you don't have touch edition of Clockwork Mod Recovery, you have to scroll up and down with the volume buttons and then power is your select button. But this one's all touch so it makes it a little bit easier. Right here you have wipe data factor reset, which you normally do to wipe out something before you flash a ROM. So we'll go back. You have wipe cache partition and then you hit yes to do that if you want to use it. We have backup and restores. Um, so you have those features and you can delete from SD card, advanced restores, free unused backup data, choose default backup format, create uh, image zip. So that would be a zip that would be flashable to somebody else's device, which is cool. I've not seen that setting in Twerp. Um, that looks good right there. And then we have mounts. So you can mount all these different things right here. You can also mount USB storage right there. Plug in like an OTG cable or something like that and you can mount that, um, which is also very neat. We'll go to advanced. And you can reboot bootloader. You can power off, wipe Delvic cache, some little things and some show log and a couple of different things you can do. Um, so, we're going to actually go into bootloader mode, but I'm going to do it, do that by, right here I can do reboot the bootloader, but we're going to power off so we can show you how to do this. So, if you have an unlocked bootloader, um, what you're going to do is go ahead and shut down your device. And to get into bootloader mode, you are going to hold volume down on the side here, and then hold power and just keep holding them from the powered off state and this is bootloader mode right here um, so the important thing like I say before we get into this and show you guys how to flash this is you need to know this information right here and you should have this lock state has to be unlocked like I was saying earlier once you're in bootloader mode just go ahead and plug in your USB cable right here to your computer Let's go ahead and do that. And when you do that, it's going to install some drivers on your computer. And let's go over to the computer and I'll show you guys how we're going to flash this recovery system to this device. Okay guys, so basically what we got here on the computer is the files you're going to need, which is a fast boot file right here. Um, if you've done any unlocking or anything like that, you probably already have these files on your computer, but I will include them in the video description. So basically what we got here is a couple recovery systems. There's Team One Recovery Project right there. Um, these are just in here because I flashed them to my device. Uh, Shabby Penguin Recovery right there. And Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. And this is the Flow Edition uh, with dot .image right there. And that's for the 2013 uh, Nexus 7. So anyway, you're going to need all these files. Make sure you have them all. You're going to want to make sure the drivers install when you put this thing into bootloader mode. 
So those drivers will actually install over here. You know, sometimes here will pop up and you'll have a driver install going right there. So I'll make sure that's there. But once you've got that done, um, basically all you have to do is go to your keyboard and touch shift and then right click and say open command window here. So then the first thing we're going to do is put in a command and that command is going to be uh, fast boot uh, devices. So once we type that in, hit enter, and it's going to come up with a number over here on the side. And that moment number is your serial number. It's not super important uh, what that number is. It just needs to say that and say fast boot. That just proves that your device is functioning properly and is connected correctly to your computer. Uh, the next thing we're going to do right here is type in fast boot. If I can get it to type. There we go. Uh, flash recovery and then from here we're going to go back to this other window and click on here and say rename and copy the entire name over it's very important you guys make sure that it says i dot img right here um, some of your computers may not have the dot img which is the file extension so if it doesn't you're gonna have to add that in before you start to flash this so I'll put a space and paste like I said, if it doesn't have IMG at the end, go ahead and add that back in right there, dot IMG. And then push enter. And there you go. That is it. We should be good here. Everything should flash to the device. We can go ahead and close this out. Okay, so we're on the device here. And all we got to do is come down here and go ahead and you can unplug it. We're done with our commands to this device. I can unplug it. There we go. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the volume. See these arrows over here? You're going to use the volume up and down. So we're going to go scroll down. That says restart bootloader. And it says recovery mode. And we're going to hit power. And this should boot us into recovery mode. Uh, now, so if you want to get into recovery mode from now on out, it is fairly simple to do. You can either boot into bootloader mode like we did from a powered off state with the um, power and uh, volume down. And then select recovery like we just did or I think you can even boot into this by from a powered off state by holding power and volume up and it'll just boot right to recovery so that's very nice so there you go that is the full thing if you want to do your Android backups you know right here which I would do before you install anything go ahead and do that and uh, that's pretty much it that's how to install clockwork mod recovery on the Nexus 7 2013 edition Hope you guys like this. As always, check me out at Root Junkie right over there on the side, Facebook and Twitter also. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.